I'm Jerry Brito. Uh, I'm a senior research fellow at the Mercatus Center at George Mason University, and I'm also director of its new technology policy program. Bitcoin is a virtual currency. There are two main benefits of Bitcoin that people who like liberty are going to be excited about. One is this idea that a central authority doesn't control the money supply, and so they can't just print more money, so your money is more, your money supply is more stable, your money is going to retain its value. There's no commodity backing it up. It, there's also no government or other entity backing it up. But there is no Bitcoin corporation. There is no Bitcoin building. It's peer-to-peer, -peer. same way you have BitTorrent or Skype, where all of the computers, uh, every user sort of contributes their, their, com their computing capacity to the network, while the ledger isn't everybody's computer. By joining that network, you are solving a very difficult math problem. Every 10 minutes, one of the computers connected to the network gets 50 Bitcoin. So in a sense, it's kind of like a lottery. So by, by participating, you get 50 Bitcoins. Here's where I think Bitcoin is really revolutionary. If the United States wants to block money from going to WikiLeaks, where do they go? Well, they go to PayPal's Visa, MasterCards of the world and put pressure on them there. With Bitcoin, there's none of that. There's nobody in the middle to, to go after. It was started a couple years ago by somebody called Satoshi Nakamoto, who is a very talented cryptographer who solved distributing the ledger. He is very privacy conscious, and we really don't know who he is. Whether Bitcoin succeeds or fails itself um, is really neither here nor there. If it's not Bitcoin, it's going to be something else that is going to be a virtual currency that has distributed, that's anonymous, and it doesn't have a central intermediary that can either print money or be shut down.